Kwatsi, Keshe, and greetings from the Indian Public Cultural Center. I am John Jahadi. I am the Indian Public Cultural Center Museum Cultural Educator. I am from the Pueblos of Laguna and Zuni. I am from the Badger and Turkey clans. I would like to welcome you and thank you for visiting with us here at the Indian Public Cultural Center for our Veterans Day events and recognition of our veterans. Patriot. Patriot has been a term that has been used to describe those individuals who have a love of country, dedicated themselves to the commitments and ideals, and serve, at, and serve for their communities and for their country. However, unfortunately, the term has now been used to apply to those who have not shown specific ideals as it relates to a political agenda. We here at the Indian Public Cultural Center want to change that paradigm and focus on the commitment of those indigenous peoples in service of this country. It is important to know that we acknowledge the fact that even before this country was a country, Many indigenous community members served not only because it was a country, but it was because of their homelands. Many indigenous people served to protect their livelihoods, their culture, their heritage, their languages, their spiritual constructs, and most importantly, they worked to preserve their homelands. That is the legacy of who we are as indigenous people. But we also know that there are many people who have served in defense of this country, to preserve and defend this country. Every individual who serves in the military services pledges themselves, gives an oath to defend and protect this country. But they do it so not solely because it's the United States of America, because we acknowledge that even before Native Americans were seen as US citizens, let alone have the right to vote, they served in defense of this country. Since 1954, the United States has recognized Veterans Day as a way to recognize the commitment and the contributions men and women have done in service of this country. We at the Indian Public Cultural Center certainly want to do that, but we also want to recognize and highlight the, the importance of the indigenous peoples, their commitment to this country, and their contributions overall. Here on the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center campus, we have a sculpture. It is entitled Warriors in Battle. And it depicts two images, both warriors, both at the ready, both on guard and on watch, to defend their communities. That is the legacy of the warrior spirit. And the warrior spirit is with every native individual who serves in the military services. That is the charge, that is the responsibility, and that is the commitment that they take when they take this pledge. But not only to protect this country and its constitution, but most importantly, within us all as indigenous veterans, there's something greater than that. There's something more important than that. We are the descendants and the inheritance of those who preceded us. We carry on a legacy of that warrior spirit. We carry on and that burden or that sense of responsibility that we will continue all that is part of us and all that identifies us. As veterans, certainly, and also those who are in active duty now, they are taking on that responsibility. So we recognize them, we acknowledge their commitment, mostly to their families, to their communities, to their relations, but also to this country as well. It is one thing to be thanked for when someone has served in the military, but it's also something that we see as a greater extent of how we see our communities. It's that sense of community consciousness. It's that sense of community responsiveness to see that our communities exist and we contribute to that. Being a veteran is not only just wearing a uniform, it's something greater inside of us. And so that's what the Indian Public Cultural Center wants to acknowledge today. So for every veteran out there, and also for all of those who are on active duty now, away from their homes, away from their loved ones, we want to acknowledge you and say to you, thank you. Dawa'eh, Elakwa, and all the other languages that we say and acknowledge the giving of something to another person, not because you are forced to, and not because it's solely a sense of duty, 
but it's only because we are part of something greater than who we are as individuals. We are a part of a community. There are many ways to experience the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center. We invite you to go to our website at indianpueblo.org. There are opportunities to learn about our museum. There are opportunities to learn and experience from reading and literature on our websites. There are other virtual experiences as well. But most importantly, we hope that you will communicate with us and help us know that you are learning something. And perhaps if you have questions or you have some concerns, because even now today, our country is confronting certain ideas that don't always explain solely or totally what makes up this country. Even before this country was a country, the United States of America, there were many diverse communities. There were many diverse languages, but they were all collectively working together. And certainly, just like any family, I'm sure they probably had some perhaps conflicts and issues, but they still learned to live with one another. That's what this country means. And so to every veteran, we thank you for your service. We invite the general public to our many ways of learning about our Pueblo societies and our civilizations. And until we meet again, or until we can all share face to face, person to person, human being to human being, how we interact with one another as a collective society on this planet of ours, we hope all are well. We wish all of those who are veterans and active duty personnel who are away from their homes and their loved ones safe returns back to your communities.